Um, and, you know, there was a moment where Tay, I was playing defense against Tay, and he went to the hole, and I got elbowed in the face. Like, the first possession. Flagrant elbow. Um, so that was, you know, a welcome to NBA moment. So the Detroit Pistons went ahead and re-signed Rodney Magruder to a one-year deal. They also made it official that they've signed Kevin Knox uh, to a two-year deal worth about six million. Um, I'm not upset about the Rodney Magruder re-signing because of the veteran, veteran leadership that he offers and gives to the Pistons, this young core. I, I feel that it's important to have a, a veteran on the team, especially when you have a veteran on the team that wants to be there and that has a good uh, relationship with the other players, the young players. And Rodney Magruder has that, even sticking up for um, the players in, in, in times of need or trouble against opposing teams. Uh, when Isaiah Stewart was going after LeBron and was was upset with LeBron, uh, you've seen Rodney, uh, Rodney Magruder um, running his mouth too. He was sticking up for him. Um, so when you have veterans like that, that helps mold the team. And obviously they see something in Rodney Magruder that helps with the identity of the club. And that's something that they want to keep around. So I appreciate that. Rodney Magruder is not going to go out and give you 50 points, um, take a game over. But I will say this, there have been games when I've seen Rodney Magruder uh, almost take a game over. And actually his three point, um, it says he he, he uh, appeared in six, I'm looking at the Detroit News article, he appeared in 51 games for the Pistons last season, averaged 5.4 points, but he shot 39% from the three point line. Now that's that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And you think uh, per game um, in three-point attempts, he shot all, he shot 2.9 attempts. And he still was at 39.7. So you got Rodney Magruder coming in off the bench, deep, deep off the bench, and he's shooting, and, and he's shooting three three-pointers and making one point. It says we're making, he made 1.1. So he's shooting almost a 40%. You like that. We'll take that. For the veteran leadership that he brings the team and help keep everybody together, help keep everybody's, um, 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 by his example, he's setting no doubt. He's helped keeping everybody accountable, but also setting the right tone and helping things stay solid in that locker room. You want a guy like that. This acquisition or this re-signing is deep in the roster. This is not your number one guy, your number two guy, but this is Rodney Magruder. You want that veteran presence, that uncle, to be in there in that locker room, and that's what Rodney provides. So I'm not upset with his re-signing at all. And I'm gonna tell you something. Sometimes it's just like any other job. Um, the older you get, you kind of work a little hard, harder than the young folks, and you would like your worth to be recognized by management. And I think re-signing Rodney Magruder shows that they recognize his worth to the team, to the club, to the identity that the Pistons are trying to um, have right now moving forward. So I'm not upset about that. Now Kevin Knox comes in. Um, Kevin Knox, uh, last year his stats, um, played, he played with New York, played with Atlanta. But his stats weren't all the best, but at the same time, he shot a decent three ball percentage. Um, he was at, while in Atlanta, he only played in the uh, limited games. But the time he was in New York, he um, shot 35%, 36% from three. That's decent numbers. And I mean, this is the ninth pick overall. Um, back in the draft, the 2018 NBA draft. So potential is still there. He's still 23 years old, 22, 23 years old. Potential is still there. Give this guy a shot, see what see what happens. We did that with Bagley. Bagley came in and did his thing. And we appreciate that. And um, it was worth, it was worth it. It was worth taking that shot. 
So even with Kevin Knox, you know, maybe he can restart his career and and, and see what happens with it. And if he doesn't, then uh, you still got him after next season with a contract that'll be that um, another team may be willing to take on so he can be moved after a year, a contract with only a year left on it after next year. So the Pistons look like they're moving in the right direction. These two signings here did not bother me at all. Reading on Twitter, some people were upset about it, complaining, but you got to have veteran leadership on the team. You can't have a team full of kids. Kids nowadays don't want to listen at all anyway, so you think kids just going to necessarily um, uh, run an organization, a ball club. You need veteran leadership um, to be in that locker room, some uncles. And you got that Alec Burks, Nerlene's Noel, um, and, and then the re-signing of Rodney Magruder, you get that uncle leadership in that locker room to help keep everybody solid and stable. So um, these, this is what's, what's happening with the Pistons here lately. The newest news uh, with the Detroit Pistons, they re-signed Rodney Magruder, and they also made it official that they've signed Kevin Knox. Um, so that's all we got for now. So go ahead and um, hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Appreciate all the support. Appreciate the comments. Tell me how you feel about this signing of Rodney Magruder and Kevin Knox. Do you feel that it was um, a bad move, a good move? Go ahead and leave it in the comments. Remember to be respectful, especially respectful of other people's comments. Um, if you want to reply to their comments. But for now, we just thank everybody for the support. We're continuing to move forward. And right now we're at 341 subscribers. So we appreciate everything, all the support, all the love. Let's go. Everybody stay safe.